Okay, here's the big question. I have a file, I've created one, and now I need to share it with others. I want others to be able to view my uh, augmented reality um, composition, my scene. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to export as a USDZ file. So I'm gonna go export, and I'm going to save to files. I've got a folder in there, so I can use that. I'm just gonna press save. There we go, so I've saved it to files on the iPad. Now, some places can't handle the USDZ file. They do something to it. For example, Google Drive can't handle it, um, and it's not easy to open from there. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use Padlet. Now Padlet, I need to use Padlet, the app, not Padlet going through Safari. This won't work if I'm just going through the website. So I've got to actually use the app. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get the files, put this over here, and I've got, here you go, you can see I've already got my files, my folder there open, and all I need to do is find that, there it is, that QR code, and I can just drag it right into the Padlet. And there, and there it is. So I can put a number of these, if I want, right into the Padlet from my files. And so let's see how that works. If I could share this Padlet with somebody else, anyone across the globe, and they'd be able to go into this and access and watch these augmented reality scenes. So let's look at that QR code that I created. All I'm gonna do is I'm going to tap on here. You can see, this is what it looks like. There's this cube in the top corner. They're gonna press that, and this just opens it in the camera roll. So let's make an augmented reality scene. There it is, and I can see that QR code. Or, I could go to one of the other ones. There it is. Tap on that. Same thing. Press the cube. And the scene comes up for the, for the person that, uh, that um, is watching it. So that's a great way to share your Reality Composer's files is with Padlet.